And all that jazz start the car. I know a whoopee spot where the gin is cold, but the piano's hot. It's just a noisy hall where there's a nightly brawl. Then all that jazz. Yep, that's right. And today, guys, I am going to be doing my movie review, aka my final movie review of March of 2023 for Chicago. So yeah, so before I go, I'm going to say this. Cue the intro. Who's your favorite fearless hero? Wait a minute. One movie, actually. Yep. I am going to be reviewing this movie right now, actually. So, yeah. So, without further ado, let's start this review right now, actually. So, yeah. It's not Puss in Boots Lost Witch. It's this movie, actually. So, yeah. So, without further ado, let's start this review right now. So, yeah. Hey guys, this is Evans Disney's Film Corner 2023 here, and today, guess what guys, and today I'm going to be reviewing Chicago came in the year of 2002, so yeah, so I'm going to read this plot on the internet, so yeah, so basically what the plot's about, Chicago centers around Roxy Hart and Velma Kelly, two murder murderers who find themselves in jail together awaiting the trial in 1920 Chicago. Roxy is a housewife. If in Velma is a villain, villain, fighting for the fame, and that will keep them, um, from, um, the gallows. So yeah. So that's basically what the plot's about about this movie. So yeah. So I do remember that this movie actually did came out, um, at the end of 2002. It actually came out on December 27th of um. 2002, two days after Christmas, actually, which is honestly very fascinating as well. And also, yeah. And um, this movie is actually directed by Rob Marshall, who also um, directed, um, who also directed um, 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 other films. Like, he actually did um, the choreography for the for Rodgers and Hammerstein Cinderella. He directed um, Annie for, AB, for ABC. And that um the um a b the t v version uh, the t v musical version of um Annie for a b c and this is actually um his first theatrical film that he actually directed with this film so yeah and the screenplay who um and also Bill Condon also did the the movie screenplay as well and also yeah and also yeah and so yeah guys so what do I think of this movie I have to say. This is honestly a fantastic musical movie. Like, yeah, this is definitely a fantastic musical movie. It's a lot of fun, actually. And this is definitely one of my favorite movies of 2002 as well. I mean, even though my favorite movie of 2002 is definitely Spirited Away, but honestly, this is definitely fantastic. Even though even though this movie actually did win Best Picture at the 2003 Oscars, it's actually marking it the first um, time that a musical movie won best picture since Oliver in um in 1968 which is also really exciting as well which honestly yeah it definitely did deserve to win best picture as well I mean also yeah and also even though I actually know that this movie is actually based on a, on the um on the 1975 Broadway show and it, I know Chicago was revived in 1996 as well and honestly yeah and also and it's also still on Broadway as well, which is also really fascinating. And also, let's talk about the cast of this movie, which honestly, Renee Zellweger as Roxy Hart was also absolutely phenomenal in this movie. And also, Catherine Zeta-Jones as um, Velma Kelly was also absolutely phenomenal in this movie. Honestly, she honestly felt like she was having so much fun making this movie, actually, especially during the, the opening number, All That Jazz was fantastic. Like, definitely... A fan. She's honestly. She honestly had so much fun. She honestly felt like she was having so much. The the actress um, um, Catherine Zeta Jones also also honest, honestly felt like she was having so much fun um doing that um musical number in the beginning. So yeah, and even Gene Kelly as um Bill Flynn was also really good, and Catherine Latino 
to Catherine Latifah was also really good. And also um John C. Raleigh, who also was also great in this movie, who also played um Almost Heart, which honestly, um yeah. Which also he was absolutely phenomenal in this movie as well. And also, um all and also oh yeah, and he was he also before yeah, and also he he actually was he actually voiced Ralph in both Wreck It Ralph and Rob Bricks Internet as well. And even um Crispin Peransky also did absolutely phenomenal as Mary Sunshine, which honestly, yeah. Yeah, and also, yeah, was also absolutely phenomenal this movie. And even the rest of the cast of this movie is absolutely phenomenal and also yeah. I mean, also, um yeah, there's so much talented actors in this movie that did really good in this film. So yeah. And also, um, even though I also um, won a Golden Globe for Zo Zoeger for her performance at the Golden Globes, and also, yeah. And also, yeah. And now, let's talk about the music and the score of this movie, which is actually composed, and the songs of this movie, um, which is actually composed by um, John... Kenner, um, um, Steve Murdoch, which, sorry, I mispronounced his last name, but that's okay, and also Danny Elfman also composed this movie as well, which is also really exciting, because honestly, that, um, that, um, 1920s, um, Chicago theme, 20s music, honestly, fits so well for Danny Elfman's score in this movie, and honestly, I think he's actually the, the perfect composer for this kind of film, because of that 1920s vibe to it, that 1920s feel to it, I meant. And also, yeah. And now let's talk about the songs, which honestly... Um... Um... Yeah, even the songs of this movie is also absolutely phenomenal, which honestly, yeah. I'm, sorry, guys, just give me a sec, actually. I mean, I'm just looking... Just give me a sec, guys. Okay. Now let's get into the soundtrack. Yeah, there's so many great songs in this movie. Like, um, All That Jazz, um, Nowadays, um, Cell, Block, Togo, Oh, Master Kermit, um, Love is a Crime, I care a lot, uh, and yeah, which were also um absolute phenomenal songs in this movie as well, and also um, and even Roxanne um nowadays, which I already said that um class um um I don't care I don't I mean I am I can't do it alone, we both reach for for the gun, and. You're, I mean, when you're good to mama, etc. I mean, yeah, the songs of this movie are still absolutely phenomenal. I mean, yeah. And now let's talk about the production design of this movie. Honestly, it's fantastic. Like, honestly, it still holds up to this day 21 years later. So, yeah, I mean, it still looks absolutely phenomenal. So, yeah, guys, so overall, I have nothing else to say about this movie. So, yeah. So, if you haven't seen Chicago, wherever you've been, I recommend it. So, yeah. So, I'm going to give Chicago a... A 10 out of 10 spectacular. So, yeah, guys. What do you think of my movie review on Chicago? So, yeah. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. And make sure to like this video. So, yeah. So, my March reviews of this year in 2023 are officially wrapped. They're over. And now, let's move on to the April reviews of 2023 of this year on my channel so yeah with the first one being my short review on tangled ever after which i am going to be reviewing that on tuesday april 4th on my channel so stay tuned for that so yeah so i'll see you guys there and let's go let's go let's go and bye